Here it is. This is Atomic Annie. We're going to start at the back and work our way to the front. This right here is the rear carrying mover. The vehicle is used to carry it. It required two. That's the end of the gun right there. That's where the atomic projectile would come out. You can see these things look similar, but they're got the single wheels in the front, double wheel in the back. And this thing would drop right here. This thing that you're looking at, we'll pick that gun up and move it to wherever it would go. There's your hydraulic rams that lifted it up. That's it right there. Looks like you drop it and then you fire it. And when it's time to shoot your enemy somewhere else, you pick it up and move it. Most likely you'd shoot it, pick it up, move it, because there's going to be coming around in on that where it was shot from. <clears throat> One of the reasons why it's movable. But it's a strange device. I don't know exactly how many of these were ever made, but there's only a few of these that survived. None of them were ever used in warfare. And what this was was a pr nuclear projectile, a cannon, launched out of that main gun there. And this here is your front carrier. There's your same thing in the front as in the back. It picks it up on them hooks and moves it. This thing probably weighs so much that it requires two vehicles to move it. We're going to go to the plaques here. And you can pause and read that is dedicated to a particular gentleman who I guess worked on these things, I'm not sure. We'll walk around to the front. You can see these things, these are four-wheel drive, as would be expected with any military vehicle. It's got the massive Rockwell military axles. Look at them leaf springs. How in the world can you get those leaf springs to flex? There's a lot of weight on that. A lot of weight. Of course, they couldn't take any chances. See the hooks in the front? That was a scary weapon back in the day. Keep the United States safe by killing other people, huh? Well, that's it. That's your atomic ante right there. One of the few surviving in the, in the United States.